Hello, Driving Intelligence community. I'm out here on this nice, crisp uh, winter day, shortly after the holidays, back to my uh, Driving Intelligence studios, and I thought I'd share uh, some of my learnings from my timing chain replacement, which included replacing the oil pump. Uh, bear with me, there's several things that I thought were really interesting here, and hopefully that will be beneficial to you as you go forward with uh, a timing chain replacement. Um, the first thing was that the, uh, the timing chain was actually stretched. There was no question about that. The, uh, the timing chain showed to be folded over about a quarter inch uh, stretch in overall length. I calculated that out in terms of degrees of cam retard, and that works out to about six degrees. Um, that's quite a bit to me. I think that uh, from what I've understood, you want more cam advance for low end power. So for a vehicle that's towing, um, a stretch, uh, stretch chain is really going to make a difference in uh, low end performance. I didn't think that the chain was stretched enough to cause a slapping on the driver's side, so I did some uh, investigation into the, uh, the tensioner. I actually recompressed it by releasing the lock, and uh, I put the, uh, the, the grenade pin back in it to hold it in. It was very difficult to compress, but the right side was also, so I didn't see any obvious signs of this. This is the cast iron. Um, the, the plunger was fully extended, so there was no, to me there was no sign or explanation of why that was getting so much chain slapping. A quarter inch wasn't enough to, uh, or a half an inch in overall length wasn't enough to cause that slapping, but it was happening. Um, the guides, both the guides on, on both sides were in perfect condition. There's no sign of real wear here. Um, I don't believe, you know, I'm the second owner, I don't believe that this was ever replaced. Uh, the, some of the parts on here did say Ford, so there were some original parts on this. Um, with 218, 219,000 miles on the vehicle, I'm very impressed that the, uh, at least the guides on my vehicle um, were in almost perfect condition. They almost look brand new. Uh, that, that says something about routine maintenance, so I'm hoping that the previous owner had r routinely changed the oil. I know I do, and I use the highest quality oil I can find. Um, finally, one of the main reasons I did this was to, because I heard uh, a lot of rattle at startup. I left the truck parked outside a few times in the weather. It was very cold outside. In colder conditions, when I'd start the vehicle up, and you'll see this in the first video that I posted, you could actually hear the chain slap, slap. Um, and that would uh, dissipate as the engine heated up, as everything started to expand. Uh, maybe the uh, the tension was working properly. I don't know why, but all the noise went away in my vehicle. Um, replacing the uh, the timing chain, all the components, uh, the oil pump has not completely eliminated everything. And you'll see that in a uh, in some sound clips I've got later on in this video. What I so what I've done with this vehicle to get rid of noise, uh, I had exhaust gaskets that were leaking. I've replaced those. Now I've replaced the timing chain and the oil pump. And there's only one thing left that's making this racket, and that's piston slap. Um, I've heard that a lot of 5.4 two-valve engines um, have piston slap problems. I think that uh, maybe that's common. The nice thing about mine is that uh, when the engine completely heats up, it is whisper quiet. So I've eliminated all the noise elements that I can uh, eliminate with the, uh, the gasket and the timing chain, but I'm not going to rebuild the engine to get rid of piston slap. And generally, most, most of the experts say there's no real problem with that especially since this thing quiets down to whisper quiet when, uh, when it's fully warmed up. Uh, so there's my learnings, and uh, I'm going to show you some of these sound clips now, and uh, you can uh, uh, make some assessments for yourself whether or not you think that's the right path to go down. For me, it was, especially with uh, advancing the, uh, the cam to its proper location. I've gotten a, quite a bit more power, uh, more usable performance, throttle response uh, as a result of this. Thanks for watching. And please give me that thumbs up. That helps push my video out to other YouTubers.